beat these beat these losers and uh, go awaken a dreamer that is that's the goal for today hold on the game may be a bit quiet just a little bit more there we go Yo, what up, Kelsey? Okay. I mean, I didn't stop. Damn it. Damn it. Well, I killed one of them in record time, I think. And, you know, I'm a bit, a bit more awake now than I was yesterday. So, hopefully... Hopefully, oh no! Frick, no! Damn it! That was intentional. If anybody was wondering. All, all part of my all part of my master plan, which is to uh, practice my my reflexes before uh, jumping back into this fight. That's my that's my story, and I am sticking with it. Damn it! I uh, I didn't realize I killed one of them, which is what that was. Um, I didn't realize I killed one of them, so so I was still fighting one that didn't technically exist, um, which is why I didn't heal up when I should have. That's the problem with fights that have too many things going on. Uh, you don't realize what's happening a lot of the time.
Damn it. I misjudged how quickly that thing was gonna move. And I got stuck. This is actually gonna start to get fun. Not gonna lie, I I'm actually really enjoying it now that I'm more awake. And not as worn out as I was last time when I got here. But I'm really starting to enjoy this fight a bit more now. To a great start already. Damn it. So I think I'm starting to get a hang of the strategy for it. Um, it's still a bit difficult just to try to parse out what's going on. But I think, I think I'm starting to figure out what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm, I'm genuinely worried, however, that... Uh, ah, you jerk. Uh, my biggest concern right now is, um... That... I lost track of what I was gonna say. I don't remember what my concern is. Oh, my biggest concern is, uh, that the Dreamer is gonna be another boss fight. Because that would be two boss fights back to back, which is not fun. I need to I need to stop holding my breath. I can feel it every time I uh, every time I breathe out. Like it feels like I haven't breathed in a while. Which is uh not healthy. You wanna breathe.
But you know what? At least, at least I'm not fighting Sephiroth. Two. Uh, I got down to two and then I died. Such is the tragic nature of mortality. get close to you get a little bit of progress and then you die Double jumped when I should have dashed. Ah, oh, damn it. Come on, come on. Squashed him like a bug. Oh, my fart killed him. Damn it. Well, 
Let me see. Hmm. Let me try taking this one off. Um. Let's put the balder shell on. I think the balder shell is probably the most important one right now because I seem to be taking a lot of damage um, while I'm trying to heal. So if I just give myself a bit of a contingency there, I should be fine, probably. Damn it! Oh, I thought it was moving faster than it was. But I killed so many of them that time! I think I killed like three or four. Oh. That was a good one. That was a good run. See, the problem with this one is if I play too defensively, I lose. But if I play too offensively, I lose. I know that sounds a bit weird, because, um... If you play too defensively in anything, you lose. Too, playing too something implies it's bad um, because you're doing it too much. So it, it seems like a obviously correct sentence, um, but it's it's what, I, what I'm trying to say is it's a tough line to to toe. Damn it. 
I got I got in between them. I think that's that's a problem. I need to keep them on one side of me. Um, but if I keep them, if I if I'm in between them, I think that's an automatic. I will lose. Um, but if I can manage to somehow keep them both on one side of me, it's it's a bit more of an advantage on my side. It's a lot of thinking. I like that. I can appreciate a game that makes me makes me think. rather difficult. Like, I feel like, I, it's getting to the point where I feel like every time I kill more than one of them, it's just sheer luck.
So close! I killed three of them! Okay, but I think I think I know the strategy now. It's uh, a bit tricky. I need to do responses. I need to not do attack. I need to just attack whenever I have a clear opening. I need to stop trying to make openings and wait for them. Which, you know, may be, may be what it means to be playing defensively. But... It's weird. Damn it! Ugh. So what I need to also stop doing is I have this reflex where when I'm healing, I move out of the way. If I see somebody coming towards me, when I'm in the balder shell, it's safer for me to stay where I am. Let them break the shield, and then move. Because there's, there's a brief buffer in between when the shield breaks and um, when I can take damage again. So it's actually safer for me to not move when I'm in the shield, so keep that up um, to try to minimize life loss. Um, the trick is just, you know, overriding my impulse. Damn it. I think that was one of those uh, no-win situations I was talking about yesterday. Where I just, if I moved, I would have died. If I stayed where I was, I was going to die. But I'm definitely getting closer. I can feel it. I'm definitely cl getting closer to just figuring out what it is I'm supposed to be doing. Dang right I can do it. All it takes is a positive attitude. Probably. It probably takes a bit more than a positive attitude, uh, 
luck, skill, all these things play into it. So I killed two that time, but I'm losing I'm losing lives faster, like incrementally, which is a big problem. For a case where I was losing one life at a time. That would be acceptable. When you're losing one, then suddenly two, then suddenly three, it's a lot harder to keep up with. The upside is I'm consistently able to kill one, um, which is some improvement. If I consistently kill three, I think maybe I'll get lucky enough to accidentally kill six. Which is, which is big. Being able to accidentally kill six is very important. Because that's all it takes! I only need to kill six of them. Who needs skill when you have good luck?
I thought it was going to run that way, but instead it dashed into the wall and came out, which is what threw me off. Because I was going to try to jump over it to try to get some some time to heal. But no, it didn't want to it didn't want to work like that. It wanted to just stay where it was. It wanted to lie to me, which shouldn't be allowed. Bosses should not be allowed to bluff. Yeah. See, the problem is, here's part of the problem, here's part of the problem. Uh, the part of the problem is, if I knew which one it was I was doing damage to, it would make it a lot easier for me to focus my attacks, um, just to try to whittle them down a bit faster. Um, but because... There's no way of telling whether I'm dealing damage to the same one or to a different one until they die. Um, it's, it's hard for me to keep track of the game. Really. Yo, what up, Cory? Uh, I never left here. Easier to do this on a on, on my keyboard and mouse. Like that's that's the stage I'm at now. Would it be easier to do this on my keyboard and mouse? Learn whole new controls for the sake of just trying out a new strategy. You know what? Let's get up there and test it. Let's test this theory. Would it be easier to do this on a keyboard and mouse? So let's see. Um. So that does that. That does that.
Okay, let me see something. Um, tap in A does that. Hold in A. I feel like this is actually going to be way more work. Um, yeah, let's just let's just go back to using the game controller. That's much easier. I'm not going to pretend that I'm suddenly going to be an expert in all things because I'm using a different setup. Yeah, getting one down isn't the issue, it's the, uh, the other five. I ran into that one. I, I did fall into that one. That was an accident. Like I've managed to been a I've been able to like consistently kill one every time. Um, it's it's the other ones that get me. It's like once there's more than one on the map, it it throws everything off. I wish there was some, like, a better indicator what move they're about to use. Um, I'm sure there's some subtle nuance, but I'm missing whatever it is. And it is killing me.
Damn it. So I got three that time, which is which is good. It's actually really good because I've been able to get three a lot more often now. And uh, you know what they say. Perfect practice makes perfect. So once I can get my fingers into the muscle memory of how to kill three, um, I feel like six will be a lot easier. I feel like I feel like figuring out how to kill six consistently or how to kill six would be a lot easier once I manage to kill three yet consistently. Which is which is the real trick. It has to be consistently. music muffles whenever I get hit. That's something that I've noticed that's actually really cool. The music gets quieter to almost compensate for uh, my character getting hit so hard that the world around him muffles. Worth a shot. It's really pissing me off, and I mean it's pissing me off because it's it's rare that the game does something that pisses me off. But this is doing it. Um, they do they do false jumps where I'll expect them to jump and move in a direction, but then they'll just jump on the spot, which throws everything off. Um, and I guess, I guess what is the game doing is making them try to jump in a direction they can't. But if they're not able to do it, they shouldn't be allowed to do it. That's, that's kind of my issue.
It's that jump attack that keeps getting me too. I don't know if you guys are seeing what I'm seeing, but it's it's that thing where they jump on the spot that's pissing me off. Because if if they're able to jump on the spot, then it makes judging what they're about to do impossible. And if I can't judge what they're about to do, I can't dodge what they're about to do. And if I can't dodge what they're about to do, there's... It's, it's literally saying the odds of you winning are slim, and there's no way for you to up that. If, if that's what it means. If the... If I'm not able to just predict and dodge. No, but with Sephiroth... Sephiroth was different in that he, uh... You just had to move unbelievably quickly to deal with Sephiroth. In this game, what it's telling me is the odds of me winning are so slim that there's also nothing I can do to change that. The problem with this is that I also can't level up. Because I was thinking that too, I was like, well I could probably just go grind somewhere, but I can't. That's not an option. Yeah, sure, I could go and, like, try to find more mask shards, but that's now a case of how many more are there that I can even get? Because I have a feeling then there's no way for me to get eight mask shards at this point. I can get I can get one sorry, there's no way for me to get eight masks at this point. I can get one more mask shard, but I don't think I can get more masks. More masks. And then the next issue and this is what's also really bugging me. Um depending on what side of the map I die on, 
my soul goes to a different spot. Um, yeah, there was one that there was a mask shard I could afford that was fifteen hundred, but I don't think I have enough. I don't think there's enough mask shards in the area right now where I can get to. Um, but like, look at this. Now that I have my soul, I can't get back through here. I can I can not trigger the boss. I can stay here and just not trigger the boss for as long as I want. Uh, I can chill out around here. Um, and just not, and just not do anything, but I can't get through there, which is part of an issue. Um, but, once I try to get out of the room, that way, the boss triggers. So because I can't leave the room, my options are leave the soul there, which is a bad idea because if I die outside of here, then I lose a thousand geo. Um, and losing a thousand geo is not worth it because that's a lot of geo. To get back that much geo, I would have to grind for a long time. Um, So, now I'm in the spot where I pretty much, I don't have a choice. I'm in an area where I don't, I don't have a choice to try to break out of here. So, this area I'm now trapped in. Actually, no, now I could try to coax my cell out of the room. And uh, try to find somewhere else to go. To do. Um, which, which, you know what, sure, may help. Um, let's go do that. Let's go find somewhere else to explore a bit. Uh, maybe just grind for a bit. Um... So let's see, where do I want to go now? Since I'm, I'm done with this area for a while. Um, hmm. Let's see. 
Where have I not been that I can go to now? You know what? Let's check out this area. Um, I don't think I've been there in a while. I don't think I've been there in a while. I may have been. I could be wrong. Um, but let's go check it out, at the very least. See if I did miss something. That may be able to help me out here a bit. I want to be in the room above here. Where do I want to go? I want to go... Where am I? I'm in that room. Um, so if I go down all the way, I can go to King Station. Uh, so let's do that. Alright, that's where I am. So now we're over there. Yeah, King Station is the nearest uh, stagway. And you know, maybe I'll be able to rack up 1500 Geo on the way there, too. Okay, now I want to go to... Where do I want to go again? Um... Oh, City of Tears is actually the closest one to there. Okay. I think that's what I want to do. So let's just... Hmm. Yeah, let's just go to the City of Tears and try to get to where that token is. figure out where I'm on the map. I can't I can't read the map. That's another problem that I'm having right now. So let's take these two off. Put you on and Do this.
What's through here? I don't remember. Oh. Is there anything more I could do around here? I don't think there was. Okay. This stuff wasn't here before, was it? Okay, that's really weird. This is actually really spooky. What the hell is that? Rightly so. Like, there's some definite spooky stuff going on. No, it wasn't a revenant. What? Hmm. Would this be useful? Yeah, let's check this out. So let's purchase the long nail and um, the charm notch. It's gonna make a big dent out of my savings for um, the thing, but I think it'll be worth it. So, like, let's take the defender's crest off and let's put long nail on. What the hell? The thing just exploded on me. Okay, nothing spooky in there. It's like the game decided, oh, that area was, this area is now too easy for you. Yeah, but he's not a revenant. Revenants are very different. a key but I don't have a pass what that wants is a pass see look a door with an open slot not a not a keyhole um, I don't know where the keyhole is for which is interesting What's through here? Have I been through here? Oh, I have been through here. You know what's through here? There we go, buddy. I 
That was easy. Right, so I'm trying to get to the fungal wastes. That's where I'm trying to go. That's interesting. I can't go down. They've blocked that path off. Um, they are quote unquote mosquitoes. Or like giant flying bug things of death. That thing right there. more worrying to me is the uh, is the heartbeat sounds that the game is making see now that's that's wild so this game has now taken that fight away from me. I can't fight that guy again. Not right now. It's not making the noise right now. Um, but it probably will again. Ah, uh -huh. a new area. See? Do you hear it now? Man, there's gonna be a fight in here. There it is.
glowing womb. That is... That sounds gross. Drain the soul of its bearer, to, uses it to birth hatchlings. The hatchlings have no desire to eat or live, and will sacrifice themselves to protect the parent. I'm, I'm curious, but also very concerned. Oh no, I just realized, how are my bug buddies doing? If this whole area is infected. Oh no, I can't... I can't get to them from in here. What the hell is that noise? Somebody crying? is this? That, that was one of the first bosses I fought. Okay, you know what? You know what? I'm going to show you guys some. This thing. This thing. Came out of this thing. I killed it, and it popped out of that. And... See, because he fell out of there, and it must have flown up, or, or his buddies, who I just killed, uh, because they were freaking me out, took his body up here. So that's, that's cool. Spooky as all heck, but, but cool. Now that I know what to brace for. What? Was I... Why wasn't I able to heal? Um... I don't think it's the ooze doing that. Because in the other... Oh, you know, maybe it is. What's down here now?
Okay, so I think my understanding, my guess, sorry, is that these guys are previous bosses I fought on hard mode. Um, which is which is actually really cool. This area infected too. Okay, so this area seems fine. Hmm. I wonder what triggers. Oh, you know what I do want to check out though? I want to check out the Crystal Peak. Because I should be able to fly now. Let's see if we can get to the top of the Crystal Peak. Do you have anything new to say to me? Oh no! You turned evil! I thought we were friends! But then you tried to kill me. We could have been friends, Batman, but let it be known this is what happens when you don't answer other people's phone calls! And, oh gee, what's this? Is it a rancid egg? Well... I just realized I was sitting down on one life.
I'm the best at video games. Oh, that's just gonna take me all the way back to the beginning. I don't want that right now. focus soul at a slower rate, but the healing effect will double. Hmm. Interesting. Probably completely useless right now, but interesting. Yes! Aha! Oh no! Oh no! This is it! I'm dead. Should have seen that one coming from a mile away. Oh no! He doesn't give me time to heal. I feel like that's that's a consistency with a lot of these bosses. They just don't want to give me time to heal. trying to get in between those two but I was too far too far left okay let's hold off on fighting that guy again for now, for just a little bit. I want to explore up top a bit more. So let's check out that way. This area up here, for instance.
Oh, one second. My A button got jammed. Oh no, that's not good. It appears the spring in my A button has decided to stop working. That is very not good. Yeah, my A button stopped working. There should be a way to dismantle this to try and fix that, but I can't do that right now. So let's try to learn the keyboard controls, I guess. Feels so weird playing on a keyboard now. Okay. Um let me try to configure my keyboard then. Let's change you to um, attack. Stupid dash can be that one. Oh, do I not have them for W? It's easier for W, but then... Or, let's use you for W. That's not up either. It's a tinter that I really want. I want you in this spot. Let's put you there. Or, you know, let's put you there, then put you there. This is going to be so much more difficult now.
Ugh. Damn it! Okay, I'm gonna end the stream here to try to fix my um, game controller because I'm I, I I can't use my mouse and keyboard. I I don't I'm not used to the controls. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, so I'm gonna try to fix my my controller. Hopefully, I should be able to do that. Uh, hopefully. I guess I guess we'll find out eventually. But that's where we're going to call it today. And tomorrow I'll be back on and hopefully I should have a new controller to fix this and play properly. Um, so yeah. Hopefully. This isn't, this isn't boding well at all. If not, um, if I can't fix my controller today, today uh, I want to play a new game tomorrow. One that I know can use the mouse and keyboard. Um, because this, this game is impossible to do without a mouse and keyboard right now. Not at this stage. I've been playing it for about a week and a bit now. All my muscle memory is for my game controller. Um, so I, I, my, my fingers aren't used to the keyboard. So it's gonna, it's gonna take a while for me to adjust to that. I'll have to unlearn the muscle memory and then relearn a new one. Um, so let's call it here. And in the words of two wise men... Be excellent to each other and party on, dudes.